Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. This is another pair. Um, I'm, I'm currently for sale on eBay UK at no reserve. Absolutely spectacular. Um, they're from about 1950. And um, this is Cayman skin. Um, if I bring it up carefully to the camera, let the camera focus, you can see the scales have kind of pop marks. They're kind of in between the scales. In, on the scale itself, not in between it, I beg your pardon. They're, they're kind of rough. Now, there's a good good view. They've got like little pock marks on the scale itself. And that's caiman. It's actually quite rare. Most people mistake it for alligator or crocodile. And from a distance, that's easy enough. But the real telltale is just these, just the pock marks. But these these things, they're just, they're, they're in museum condition. And... Um, just remarkable, totally original, even got the original heels with not a lot of wear. There's a tiny bit of rubbing to the to the rubber. But these are about 1950. Made by Johnson and Murphy. And um, the, the shoe trees are not included, I'm afraid. These are Foster and Son bespoke trees. Um, yeah, they're just wonderful, wonderful things. And I am sorry to be selling these, if I'm honest with you, but I've just got so many pairs. It's ludicrous, and I can't get the numbers down without starting to sell pairs that I really actually love. And these have got like an immense sort of chisel toe shape. And um, it could be mistaken from a distance that these are George Cleverly, the way they bulge out and chisel. But the quality is superb. The condition is museum condition, quite frankly. And um, I will be missing them, but um, they, they just have to go. And um, I've got another pair, um, identical size and shape, made on the same last for the same gentleman. They're in Teju Lizard, and they'll be sold as well in a week or so. I'm going to sell them diff uh, separately at different times. For the simple fact that I, I believe whoever likes these will like both pairs. And if there are two pairs live at the same time, it becomes difficult. And... Um, you know, I'm quite certain the successful bidder of these will want the other pair when they come up. And um, if, they're, if they're there together, it's not really a, you know, you can't put your proper attention into into two bids as you can to one. So these would achieve a lower price. And whoever would deserve to get both pairs is not going to get such a chance. So I'm going to split that up. But there were actually um, all the, these shoes and quite a few others were the, the, I bought them um, off a gentleman in the USA. He was a hell's angel with a Harley Davidson and beard. And these shoes, along with all the others I bought, belonged to his great uncle. And between the 1920s and the 1950s, he had five successful shoe retail outlets and they sold Johnson and Murphy. These are not uh, ready to wear. These are made to order. These weren't a standard stock in the shop, but they could be ordered um, in the skin and the style and so on. Um, and the, the gentleman, basically, he treat himself perhaps once a year to a really nice pair like these and have them specially made by one of his suppliers. And um, I was lucky enough, really, it was some some years after after the gentleman's death that um, his, his nephew contacted me. Because, as I said, he was a hell's angel and, you know, sort of Harley Davidson and, the you know, the lifestyle. These these were not for him. They did fit him reasonably well, but he's not the sort of, you know, these are not his style, as I say to you. He adored them because they're his great uncles and he kept them for years and years and years, wrapped up in cloths under his bed with about 10 other pairs which I've, I've got in my collection. A couple of which I've sold, but yeah, anyway. And uh, yeah, he just wanted them to go to a good home and I've had them about 10 years. I do feel a bit bad about parting with them because I'd, I wanted, you know, because I, when I get a collection like this that are all together from the same source, I do try to keep them together. They, they fit me. I'm a UK 9.5. The, these are snug on me, but they don't hurt. I have worn them. I would say realistically, they're a slim fitting UK nine, a US ten. They are they are slim and they're low. So anybody with hefty feet, these wouldn't fit. But um, yeah, as I say, they they are on eBay UK, and um, I'll put the um, the listing number with this post. But they'll find a buyer. They'll find a home where they'll get a lot more. Well, they won't. I've looked after these really looked after them. I've just not worn them as much as they deserve to be worn and shown off. So with a with a heavy heart I'm parting with them. <laughs> 